Okay, we are turned off of Highway 21 onto the Forest Service Road that goes to Natchez Campground, where we're going to go uh, set up camp for tonight. And it is the beginning of the Texas 450 Overland Route that we're going to be doing this weekend. So this is the beginning of our trip. So this is Natchez Bluff Overlook Campground entrance and the road going up to the uh, Overlook. And this is the wood uh, Overlook. You can see the beautiful view. There is a porta potty type or hole in the ground toilet uh, in this area. There's some open areas for uh, group camps. We had thought we was going to set up here and they were taken. So we did go explore another area called the uh, Niches Hunter Camp 2 on down the road from the first one. And that's where we ended up setting up camp and we're right now waiting for the members of the Texas Trailhawk Trail Riders to, to get there and set up their camps. Well, we have our tent and campsite pretty much set up how we want it. This time I brought the Qmodo top quick setup tent, the smaller one. And we have the Wolfwise Shire tent set up behind our camping tent with the porta potty set up inside there. And we have one of the Jeep Trailhawk Trail Riders that's already here setting up his campsite. This is John's Cherokee Trailhawk with three and a half inches of lift, which is pretty rare. Tim Hebner stopped by. He's mapping this route for Onyx. Check out his YouTube channel, Exploring the Outdoors. Morning and people are starting to pack up. This is the Natchez Hunt Camp, the second one. After everybody was loaded up, we lined up and hit the East Texas 450 loop. We were headed counterclockwise toward Angelina National Forest where we intend to set up our next campsite. Needing to cover a lot of miles, we had limited opportunities to get out and take pictures and video, although we did capture what we could and we'll share with you. The roads are mixed from rock, sand, mud, dirt, pavement. This is a very enjoyable loop and I highly recommend that you get it done at least once to see some East Texas countryside. As you see here, you will run across some sections of the loop that are kind of sloppy. Uh, this area here presented no problems for us at all. Uh, it was fun going through and we try to tread as lightly as we can when we're hitting these areas. Some sections of the road ended up being a little bit worse than we thought they were, as you will see later in this video.
one of the Texas Trail Hawk Trail Riders members recommended that we make a slight detour and check out this bridge. So we did. And we got some awesome photo opportunities and video opportunities. This is a cool area and I was happy that we made the detour to check it out. It's just a small offshoot and then you turn around and go back to the Texas 450 loop. As you can see up ahead, the white pickup truck is stuck. No one was around, so we didn't pull them out. If they had been, we would have offered our services. So we're turning around, getting ready to go back across the bridge and regroup up on the Texas 450 loop. Be sure to check out Funky WK2's YouTube channel. We did get a little mud on the Jeep. I am pulled off to the side as all the members are going across the bridge and have to turn around and go back to the Texas 450 loop. But we're getting video shots of all the Jeep Cherokees, the WK2, the Wrangler, and the Toyota coming across this bridge. We all made it across, they're in process of turning around. What a lovely view. Now back to the Texas 450 loop. Someone got stuck, so he's going back. Quite a ways. I thought it was right there, but it's quite a ways. We had passed a section in the road that was pretty, it looked sloppy. So I stayed to the right and kept on headed forward. And I did hear on comms, uh, someone saying go left go left and somebody went left and the next thing I heard was somebody was stuck so we're gonna go take care of that situation and someone was having a lot of fun Even this section that I'm walking, although it doesn't look really bad, as I was walking, I was sinking. So I walked over to the extreme right side of the road, and even in the grassy areas, I was still sinking. So this area was just nothing but slop. So when he hit that area, he just sunk to the bottom, pretty much bottomed out. Cherokee Trailhawk recovering the Jeep.
Grand Cherokee. This stuff was just soft. Success! Adventure, Texas 450 overland route, 450 miles. Some places are easy peasy, some places can be bad. And if this was wet right after a rain, this would just be a mess. Luckily for us, on the the time we're doing this route, everything's dry. You had fun. But I'm glad I stayed right. <laughs> you went left. All right, I'm gonna climb back in the Jeep and we're booking it on to Angelina National Forest.